Hi there and welcome to the Shoe Raider Drawing Channel on YouTube and today I'm going to show you how to draw this castle. But let's not talk about it, let's... Let's do it! Well yesterday I went past um, Chepstow Castle which is on the border of Wales and England and I thought I should do a castle. I know many years ago, well not years ago, well it could be years ago, I was asked by Sam Brown to do a castle. So if you're still watching Sam... And this is for you. Also, I had somebody recently ask me, and I haven't written it down, so I'm very, very sorry. Let me know who you are, and, and uh, then you'll know who you are. So, <clears throat> I want to draw a castle. This is going to be kind of the, the road leading up to it. And then, basically, what we're doing is drawing a box. Okay. And I'm going to draw it at a kind of dramatic angle. Like that. Okay, so it's kind of, you're looking down from underneath it and looking up. You've got vanishing points here like, like this. So you've got a vanishing point from here. And you're kind of drawing this box kind of like that, okay? Um, but you've also got vanishing points here as well, sort of way in the distance, like that. So, so you've got vanishing points here and a vanishing point down there. I hope that makes some kind of sense. Um, now, uh, as I move that around there, let's have, we're going to have kind of over here, so we need a kind of a, a gap, a ravine, and we'll have here the porchway, the, the archway leading in to the castle. So you're going to want the drawbridge there, which will be held up with chains or whatever that go into holes in the wall there. Now on the edges, on the corners rather, you're going to want turrets and so we're going to put them in like that um, and we'll be kind of going up like that. I'm going, have, I'm going to make this kind of more complicated so it's a bit wider than it's, a bit longer than it's wider. Anyway, so your turret will come up here and you want to curve up at the top like that. And the wall will come and meet halfway inside this turret. So you want to see the rest of the turret kind of behind there like that. Does that make sense? And similarly here, uh, that'll be kind of going there and on this one as well. So the wall kind of comes halfway into the turret, whereas here the turret is kind of in front of you. Does that make sense? I hope so. <laughs> um, and then you're going to want to do something similar above it. This is where your battlements are going to be. And, and then if you draw them like so, so they're kind of thick in the middle, but they get thinner towards the edge. Okay. So they're kind of like teeth sticking up, but the ones at the edge are going to be much narrower. Okay, and that will give you a sense of perspective of the of the, the, uh, the turret kind of going round. Um, so it's kind of like a tooth going up, but this one will be narrower on the outside, much narrower. And again. And then th this will just be a little bit of kind of decoration kind of going around the outside of it. Okay, you're going to want something that's looking like it's a little bit, should be more kind of out there, I think. Uh, yeah, maybe, the, yeah, good. <coughs> and, um, and you're going to want something similar along the top here. You're going to want these battlements. And they will be going kind of like that. And, and again, you, you'll... <laughs> These, these lines are kind of going like that, so you want to be thinking about how these kind of teeth sticking up fit in with those perspective lines. Perspective is a thing you want to kind of get, <laughs> get into your head. If you, uh, if you have a little box, go and have a look at my thing called uh, Get the Box Inside Your Head. There's a video called Get the Box Inside Your Head. I'll put a link up there. Uh, which might help you a bit. 
that's kind of about boxes and, and, and I really need to do probably more about perspective, I think. That's your basic castle. We'll have it kind of on a rocky crag and this will be, so it's kind of like a ravine um, that the castle is, is on. And let's have that kind of around from behind there with the archive. And then mountains in the background, clouds, something like that. Good. Um, and then we're probably going to want, you're going to want a castle keep in the background as well. So that, let's, have that, let's have that about here. Um, and that will kind of go there. And again, you've got to be following these kind of rules of perspective. Um, and you're going to want to put these teeth in on the top. They're not teeth, they're battlements, so you know what I mean. And let's have another little turret. Again, this should be following the, the uh, angles of the perspective. We'll have another little turret up there, actually that's not quite so high. Uh, <laughs> and there we go, and we'll have a flag, have a pennant going streaming out there, so we'll have some more up here. Right, um, we'll need a little cross windows. We'll have lancet windows on the other ones because they're just easier to draw. A couple of windows up there. Uh, let's have a couple of windows at the front. Right, where shall we start? I think we should start with the thing is that, that is right at the front, which is that's not the pen I want to draw with. It's a bit worn out that one. <coughs> this has got a better nib. Um, let's start right with this kind of chain um, for the for the drawbridge. I put the drawbridge in first, and that will kind of lead us up to the castle, where we can then put in the uh, these very thick walls you're going to have for the castle and um, that should kind of do it there um, and then I'm going to work on these top of these turrets okay and I'm just going to put these little almost like kind of sausages in at the top because uh, you've kind of got the, the kind of pattern of uh, the masonry in the uh, the top of the tower, uh, not the tower, the um, battlements. <laughs> I'm sure there are proper technical terms. Someone will go, well, actually, they are called uh, castellations or something like that. I don't know. Um, and then I'm going to do kind of like that. There's just a bit of kind of decoration around the, the top of the castle. And you draw those bits, and then you're going to want to draw in like that, so it gives it a three-dimensional feel. Um, so you draw in those the teeth of the battlements, and then that will come there, that will come there, there, and there. Um, Thing. Let's do all these battlements. Let's do all the turrets first. Um, right, I think that's what I did too. Anyway, <laughs> someone was complaining on one of my videos just recently that I mumble too much. Well, it's it's hard enough drawing the thing, but actually trying to talk and and tell you what I'm doing at the same time is, is quite difficult as well. It would be an awful lot easier to kind of do a speed drawing and a, do some kind of a um, voiceover over the top afterwards. And, but yeah, I don't know, I don't, I don't, I think it's kind of more interesting to sort of hear a bit of rambling as it goes on. <laughs> and, um, 
and I think if you're sort of rambling along live, then um, suddenly you remember something and you think, oh yeah, that's a really important thing to, to say, which, you know, you might not quite get in if you did a voiceover afterwards. So if you think I'm rambling, I'm very sorry, but you actually kind of use two different parts of the brain. Sort of, you use the right side when you're drawing and left side when you're talking and thinking uh, of explaining stuff. And it's quite hard to keep the two sides of the brain working at the same time. And I find when, I, when I'm doing this and I suddenly get the spurt of talking, then I find the drawing kind of <laughs> falls apart. So, um, it is quite hard doing the two things. And sometimes when I'm really concentrating on the drawing part, then uh, it all... All the talking stops. So, right, now I'm going to come down here. I'm going to do these kind of li little wiggly, wiggly kind of lines down here. I know people like it when I say wiggly, wiggly. I think it's something to do with the song. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. Um, so, if you just make them just a little bit wiggly, then it's, rather than using a ruler or something like that, which will make it give dead straight lines, this will make it just look a little bit older and more <coughs> antique. And again, let's put these little bits in on the top of these um, castellations, battlements. Choose the word you like best. And then come down here again, kind of wiggly, wiggly, wiggly. And then we want to draw in the teeth of the battlements. And then you can draw in those kind of three-dimensional parts like that. So and let's do all the three, let's do all the, um, the teeth first. Like that, and then we want to, oop, I've got my camera. The strap of my camera is just hanging down and just tickling my forehead. It feels like a spider. <laughs> it's okay. I'm not going to scream. Um, ah, this is kind of, there's such a lot to do in this drawing. <laughs> what are we doing for time? 11 minutes! <gasps> Goodness me. This is going to be a long one. This is kind of a big to draw. Of course, this is a kind of a, you know, Robin Hood, Knights in Shining Armour kind of medieval castle, um, which is kind of, right, okay, look, hang on, do that kind of inner bit like that, and that will kind of make these windows kind of look like windows, I suppose. Yeah. And then we want to put you need a slight curve. When you put these kind of cross pieces in, there needs to be a slight curve to them. Probably not there. And then the further down you go, the curve will go the other way. But you want them kind of curving with the curve of the castle. And here I'm just going to put in kind of lancet windows to speed things up. Uh, and again, some little windows. And you'll have, again, you'll have all the, the bits that go with windows. You've got, uh, you know, arches over the top and you've got sills underneath them. Um, and, oh, we're having this terrible thing over Christmas there. Kind of silly quiz thing. So there's this man in a room. And... There are no windows and no, no doors, so how does he get out? And he does get out, think about that. <laughs> no windows, no doors, how does he get out? Now, um, you want to put little kind of bricks in there, not the whole, you don't fill the whole thing up with stone. Okay, but you can maybe put two next to each other to give a feeling of one on top of the other. And try and get a, a sense of the curve of the... Um, the, the you know the roundness of the castle here as well. If you put if you do the whole thing and just thousands and thousands and thousands of little you know rocks one on top of the other blocks and bricks and stones, it just you know, it just kind of makes it a bit messy really. 
um, and here you can kind of give a real feeling for the edge of the the edge of it by kind of you know putting these kind of corner stones in like that. Um, so yeah, don't don't go mad with thousands of thousands of s stones. What am I? Calling? They are yeah, they are stones. You want a big keystone there for the archway. And then along here we've got, this is kind of the bit where you, you know, the road that brings you up to the castle. And there's kind of going to be a ravine down in between there. Uh, let's have the, the light kind of shining through this way. So it's going to have a very dark shadow underneath the... <laughs> drawbridge! <laughs> I can't think of the word. That's going to be in there, but we'll make that quite dark in there. Behind. Uh, the light, oh, we haven't put all these three dimensional kind of corner angles in there. What are we doing for time? 15 minutes! This is ridiculous. Um, and again, we want those there, don't we? Like that. And those there. Those there. So those will actually be quite dark. They'll be in the shade. Uh, and then. This will also be in the shade on this side. Like that. The, the tower will have some shade on the side. So look, the tower here, uh, we're going to have this kind of built into the rocks. Like that. Um, and more rocks like that. So the tower we'll have shading which doesn't go right to the edges okay so it's just in this kind of quarter of the thing so so don't take it right to the edge leave a little bit of light because you're going to get kind of ambient light coming around from this side as well but this kind of corner of the tower, so it's not a corner because it's a tube, but you know, like this kind of uh, arc of the tower is going to be the dark part. And again, this is going to be in the shade on this side. Like that. This tower here, again, is going to be shaded. And done that bit. Just there, and again, that would be shaded just there. Uh, we need to have our kind of rocky bits there, which will be kind of like that. Um, the, 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 the tower will make a slight, cast a slight shadow on the the wall there as well there. Turn there. Um, to make this more of a kind of a ravine we want to make this much darker down here. So we can and, and it's dark around on this side as well because the whole castle is casting a shadow on this side here. And it's going to be darker at the bottom and, and getting lighter towards the top so you can do a bit of that as well. And there'll be a bit, bit darker at the bottom there. And you've got the, as well, make this kind of feeling of a ravine here to separate the the the, the front of the drawbridge. Does that make sense? Okay, I'm just going to give this a quick ah. Everyone's falling apart. I'll give this a quick vacuum, not a vacuum, it's a hair dryer, <laughs> just to make sure it's dry before I erase the pencil lines because there's nothing worse than smearing all your ink but erase the ink uh, yeah the pencil lines nothing worse than smearing your ink um and then I'll just do some kind of clouds in the background somebody was asking me about clouds I'm I'm not brilliant at clouds 
So look, putting in there we go. Um, and I'll put a bit of a little bit of life into these flags as well, like that. Uh, you're going to have kind of mountains and things in the background as well, I should think. Like that. And um, I think that's about all I'm going to do. If I do that, that will make the road different to the, the rest of it. So there you go. <laughs> How to draw a castle. 19 minutes! This is crazy. Okay, if you enjoyed that, keep coming back to the Shoe Raider Drawing Channel. <laughs> In the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye!